I think um, that you know he's still being spending a lot of money on on promoting himself. Like we already know, he's he's hired uh, Hill and Norton for thirteen thousand yeah. dollars. Is it just under four hundred fifty thousand yeah. pounds a year? A year. Oh, sorry, four hundred fifty thousand uh, pounds since the tsunami. Since the tsunami, so yeah. it's like uh, you know nearly a million dollars. You know to just promote him. You know we could have used that million dollars for a number of things. Um, he's still been um, going around, you know, paying um, um, a lot of his his cronies to stay and support him and and you know be with him in the in his party. Where does he get the money from? Where does he? Well, I have I mean unconfirmed uh, reports and and you know uh, sources that we can't really identify. The, what we 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 are told that the Arab uh, countries. Uh, tend to deal with him in a in a different way than the Western countries. For example, if Britain wanted to give the Maldives ten million pounds, it'll be on the news. It'll be um, accounted for. But for the um, Amir of some Gulf country, you know, ten million. You know, you just send it over dinner if you like, and and Kayum can quickly put it in his pocket and and then cash it whenever he wants. That kind of funds have gone from the Gulf, uh, the oil-rich countries, to the Maldives after the tsunami. That's a fact. We know that. But we don't know how much, who, and, and all that. So he, he probably has some money, some cash in his hand to play with. But not enough, really, to, to do the game that he wants to do. Uh, because um, he probably wants to buy out everybody. But what he does with the businessmen, like the, the richest people in the Maldives, or, or, the, or those who control the economy, is... He makes the, the the bigger contracts that these people have with the government, like lease of the resort, lease of property or island, or whatever, airlines. airlines and all this kind of stuff. He makes them, you know, it's there. There will always be a clause in it where you know he can, you know, decide, you know, in a split second that okay, I'll, I'll take your assets out. I mean, he just did that to one of our um, uh, senior members, um, uh, you know. He's, he, there was a, a conflict between, you know, older partners and all this, but the majority shareholding group has 60%, and they're all NDP supporters, Ali Shyam the, of 3A, and the other party is, is uh, joined forces with Kayum. And apparently when the split ended, it was like he got 80% in assets and in money, and the others got 20%, so... Gayum and and it was Gayum who finally decided what happens to that. The case has been in court for about four years. Well, this guy on the other side was lucky because his um, his brother-in-law was the the good justice minister that we have, Jamil, and also who's very friendly with uh, the attorney general. Um, you know, so um, the it, still Gay Gayum's playing that game. Of buying out, we have recently published um, official documents from the finance ministry, which shows that Adam Zahir owes so much, so many millions to the to the uh, government or to the country, basically to the treasury. Who, and who gave him the money in the first place? Kayum, Kayum, yeah. He thinks it's all his money. He doesn't. He's the chief executive of the Maldives, isn't he? Yeah. Maldives, Lim Maldives it, it, PLC. It happens is... like this. It's quite simple. I mean, he does it properly. The president thinks that it's a good idea to um, give a loan of eight million to the commissioner of police. So the president has to write to the finance minister, and the finance minister thinks also that it's a very good idea and. In, instructs the governor of the Bank of Maldives to release the funds to the police commissioner. The funny thing is, the president is the finance minister, and he is the governor of the Bank of Maldives. So, I mean, all the paperwork is there, you know. So, <laughs> and so this guy gets eight million or ten million to build a big house, and you know. And do whatever he wants, and he's he remains above the law. He's the chief of police, and he doesn't care what the law says. His priority is to protect the regime, 
And also in this document, in this official document, we saw names of MPs and other finan other ministers in Gayum's government who all had like borrowed. What about the mm. chief judge, judge too? Chief, oh yes, he, he also uh, borrowed I think about five million. And, and the most interesting, some of the loans were uh, on the, given under the condition that pay if you can and when you can type of loans. I mean, it's a very strange type of loans given to people like his very close friends like Ad, um, Zahra Hussain who's in charge of the media. So I mean it's still going on, still going on. I mean uh, he's, he's pardoned um, you know millions of, of Rufia to the really really corrupt individuals who've, who've taken a lot of money from a lot of different companies. You know he, he just takes the cases, the corruption cases from the, 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 um, the courts out and, you know, let these people enjoy and do whatever they want.